Dressing up as a guy does not have to be difficult. As a matter of fact, over the last few years, I have come up with 11 clothing tricks that makes dressing well easy. Now here is the best part. I would say about 90% of guys have never heard any of the tips that I'm going to discuss in this video, which means you listening and implementing all 11 tricks into your style today will make you better dressed than any guy you know. Starting with getting rid of wrinkles with an ice cube. Let's be real, nobody likes to iron. So a quick and efficient way to release wrinkles is with steam. So go into your dryer, set it up to its warmest setting, throw the pieces you want to wear in today, and then grab an ice cube and throw it in there. As the ice cube melts and turns into steam, your wrinkles will be released and you're good to go. Two. Make your pants elastic. These are for pants that sit too big in the waist. So grab your pants and measure about 10 inches in the back of your waist. Then using a box cutter, I want you to make two slits at the end of each of those 10 inches. Now make sure you don't puncture through the back of the waist and only make a slit in the top layer. Then you can go on Amazon and buy an elastic band for clothing or for sewing. Then ultimately you will want to run that band through that hole that you just created in the back. Now, if you want to do it professionally, you can sew it on each side so it's sealed in. If you don't know or want to sew, you can just bring it all around, which is the lazy way, and tie it like I'm doing so now. And there you go. You have pants that will never fall and are now elastic. Three. Learn the military tuck. When you tuck in a dress shirt, you can actually look more tailored when you learn how to tuck it in correctly. To do this, when you tuck your shirt, you're gonna wanna grab the excess fabric on both sides of your shirt, fold it backwards, and then tuck in. This will tailor your shirt instantly, and you will look better. Next video number four. I want you to wear cropped pieces to look taller. When you want to dress, your goal should be to look longer. And the best way to do so is to make your legs look longer. Now, there are three ways you can go about getting this cropped look. The first is to roll up your sweater. This is exactly why with my brand Essentials, I make a tight cuff around the waist that's nice and thick so you can easily crop up any of our sweaters to give you that short torso and long legs. Now, this is not going to work with any sweater. If the sweater is cheap or it's a very light fabric or the band is all loose and stretched out, you'll just lose its structure and the, and the sweater will keep falling throughout the day. The second way you can crop is by just tucking in your shirt. Now, of course, you know when you dress well, you have to tuck it in, which is what I just showed you. But what you don't know is that you can also tuck in basic stuff, even like a t-shirt that you see me wearing. You tuck in a t-shirt, you make a slight little cuff around, and boom, there you have it. You have now cropped the top and lengthened your legs. <laughs> now, I would tell you to go check out our Essentials tees and our hoodies. There are best sellers, but they're actually sold out. And that's what happens. They sell out insanely fast every time we restock. And that's because we truly care about the details so you can actually dress better. Now, the third way you can crop that most don't know is with your pant design. I want you to get yourself high-waisted pants that sit higher on your waistline. These instantly will give you the illusion of longer legs to give you that taller appearance. Either way, with our brand essentials, I have you covered with the basics that will make you look good and our new launch is happening June 3rd at 10 a.m. Eastern. So what I always suggest people to do is one, click the link down below and sign up to our email list and two, put a reminder on your phone. That way you do not forget and don't miss out and everything ends up selling out. This takes me to number five. Wear shorts if you're skinny. This is for guys that are too skinny that don't fill out the pants. I promise you women are noticing. It's not just you. They are looking and will notice if you have a flat or pancake butt. Now, of course, you should be hitting the gym. You should be eating right to fill up and get that athletic physique. But in the meantime, you can wear sports shorts underneath your denim, especially your loose cut stuff, so you can fill them out. Now, the crazy part is I've just given you five tips that will completely revolutionize how you dress that are free. You can do them with what you have. I have six more and they only are getting better. For example, the reverse hanger trick. I love this one. It's free. Most of your closets are cluttered with pieces you don't wear. So to fix this and only keep the stuff that you actually need and makes you look good, I want you to go in and turn all your hangers on backward. After about a month, you will then notice a pattern as to which items you are actually using by being able to tell which hangers you've placed back correctly. Whatever hanger is still on backwards or the wrong way is a sign to you you haven't worn in over a month and most likely is not a piece you like and can get rid of. The statement number seven, 
I want you to apply deodorant after you put on the shirt. This might seem like a small shift in your morning routine, but it makes a huge difference to your style. To many of you, will apply deodorant as soon as you step out the shower and then you put on your shirt, which causes these unnecessary streaks, which make you look kind of dirty. Instead, I want you to put on the shirt and then apply the deodorant. Number eight, when you wear glasses, line them up to the shape of your eyebrows. Finding the right glasses for your face shape is complete BS and it's almost impossible to determine what your actual face shape is. However, your eyebrows, they're easy to tell. You have two shapes. You either have a straight cut or a rounded curved cut. If your eyebrows are more straight, then opt for frames that are more rectangular. If you have a curved cut in your eyebrows, then opt for frames that are more circular. Number nine, I want you to tie your shoes correctly. This is gonna make sure you never get your shoes untied, and no, it's not with the ugly double knot. Instead, you will be doing the double bunny ear. It's the same process you would usually do. You tie it through the first time, you make double bunny ears, and then you pass the first bunny ear around. Instead of closing it shut like you normally would, I want you to pass the left bunny ear around as well, making that double pass pass through and then tightening it. You get a clean knot that will never become undone. Number 10, I want you to roll up your sleeves like the Italians do. Look, everyone is wearing the long sleeve button downs to get that old money look for summer. The annoying part with them is when you don't know how to roll up your cuffs because your cuffs keep becoming undone and it makes you look sloppy. So here's a trick. Next time, I want you to unbutton all the buttons from your sleeve and fold the sleeve all the way up to your elbow crease. Then I want you to fold that sleeve again onto itself, making it a second fold and giving you a perfectly symmetrical cuff every single time that'll never become undone. This ultimately takes me to number 11. Buy yourself double-sided tape. It costs like $2 on Amazon. And now you can put one piece under each collar flap anytime you wear a collared shirt to keep that collar in its place. This becomes crucial when you start layering jackets and sweaters to make sure your collar's always nice and upright, making your shirts look more expensive without actually spending more money. 